Today we're going to be learning about a technique called watercolor resist. To do watercolor resist, you are going to need some simple things. You're going to need some paper. If you have regular paper, that's good. If you have watercolor paper, that's even better. You're going to need a white crayon and you're going to need some watercolors, a bowl of water, and a paintbrush. Okay, so pick your design for your paper. You're gonna take your crayon, your white crayon, and you're going to bear down. And I just did something simple. I was making hearts. So I'm just going to make my hearts, and they are hard to see when you're doing white on white. That's okay, they'll show up later. So do a bunch. I might do some squiggles. I might do some circles. Overlap your shapes. Just fill up your paper with whatever design you would like. And remember, press down hard because the wax is what seals the paper and doesn't let the paint touch that part. And that's why you get to see that white show up in the end. So I've done those designs. I'm going to take my paintbrush, dip it in a lot of water. You want it nice and wet. And then I'm going to put it into my watercolor. Make sure your watercolor is nice and wet so that this works really well. I'm going to lightly just go over my designs and they should start popping up. And that's the best part. It's so fun to see them starting to show up. So I see my heart and I overlap shapes there. I'm gonna change colors, make sure I've got a lot of water and just go over and over. Now, if you have um, watercolor paper, your paper won't buckle as much as this paper is doing. So this paper is kind of bending because it's just regular paper, but that's okay. That kind of paper works as well. It will just end up slightly wrinkled, but that doesn't bother me very much. So I'm using regular paper. And I love how this is showing up. Now that you've learned how to do watercolor resist, Think about any design that you would like to make and go ahead and try your hand at making your very own. 